Right to Play, the Promoting Life Skills in Aboriginal Youth, Play, supports urban and remote Aboriginal communities across Canada. Right to Play uses the power of play to educate and empower Aboriginal children to become leaders and active participants in their communities. Aboriginal youth face many challenges growing up in Canada, from poverty and violence to substance abuse and suicide. There's never been a more important time to give hope to young Aboriginal people and to help them find pride in themselves, their community and their culture. Play not only empowers youth but enables them to find the courage within themselves to be their best and to seek out opportunities that bring them to life. My name is Kimio Nassin, I'm 14 and I'm in grade 8. Garcineros is helpful and um, has problems. My name is Shaylin. Um, I'm 13, I'm in grade 8, and I live in Eagle Lake, known as Megizi Salgegan. We plan events, youth-led events, that help us with our leadership skills, and it helps kids, because they're usually bored here in Grassy. There's nothing, not much to do, so it helps, helps with that, too. I'm involved in the Right to Play program by like encouraging other youth to come, pursue their dreams and get involved in the community and just be more active. At the symposium, youth have the opportunity to meet their peers from other communities. The Youth Symposium is a gathering of young leaders where communities are shared and individuals are celebrated. For many youth, this is their first time away from home. Maybe talk, like a sharing circle maybe. Yeah. Talk about and our lives. The way we do things in reserves. Because there's a lot of problems in communities. Like drinking, drugs, maybe abuse. Things like that. Probably like get involved with like other communities and like socialize with them, probably plan like huge events or I don't know, I just expect it to kind of be like a meeting. If somebody were to ask me what the Youth Symposium was, I would tell them that it is a gathering of community mentors and youth from all over Northern Ontario whose goal is to network and build relationships and build your leadership skills and just have a good time with all the people that are doing the same thing you are. I feel like a lot of the kids um, come from different backgrounds from all over the place. Some come in um, with different beliefs. Um, some come in with um, different struggles that they deal with with themselves. They are very creative. They work very hard. They're willing to try new things. They're like, you know, they didn't know each other at first. They're so shy that when, it, when they have given a little direction, they're like, they're on it. But when they have no direction, they're lost. So when you give them that nudge, it's like a snowball going downhill, you know, just collecting all this information and they're going down so fast that, you know, it, they, they have it down good. You know, like there's no, no wrong way about it, but the skills that they're gonna take back are leadership and more of a, more of a giving sense to where they have this knowledge and they have to share it and not just, you know, keep it for themselves. 
The symposium is a time for growing, for showing your true self in the most supportive and inspiring environment you could imagine. It's a place where everyone becomes a kid again and everything is possible. Play is really important because sometimes we get so serious in life that we're focusing on the negative stuff. We focus on our problems and our issues, like our homework, that we forget to have fun. And I feel like um, when the kids can just let go and we can just forget about everything, all our stresses, all of our problems and just have fun in that moment. And it's super good to do that for yourself all the time. It's healthy. I like the way the staff and the community mentors give a lot of positive feedback to the young people and that uh, really work at trying to stay away from being demeaning and talking down to them like they're little children but as you are youth, you're up and coming young adults and treating them with that respect and dignity and that's a good thing. The symposium gives youth leaders the tools they need to inspire other youth once they return home. These youth leave with a plan to create positive impacts in their community and will soon be running events for their peers and families. The symposium is not only a celebration of what we've learned so far, but a realization of what great things we still have in us to do. Before I didn't know how to talk to people, I guess. <laughs> well, I knew how to talk to people, but the reserve is like, you're kind of isolated, but it's just to be comfortable with people, events and places and things. Actually, the biggest change I've noticed is coming from uh, community members, and they're telling me it is awesome that the kids aren't walking around at night. Uh, there's less kids vandalizing things, there's less kids drinking, and there's less kids sitting around doing what they shouldn't be doing. So I hear it mostly from community members, so to me that tells me the program's working effectively when other people notice. If they do see each other again, whether it be a powwow or a different kind of celebration, they're going to see each other and they're going to be like, oh my god, I missed you. And I know that they'll see each other again. I know that they will. Youth have the power to change their communities because they can be leaders and I plan to use my voice in a positive way to draw others to do what they're supposed to do, like as a person. I'm going to keep connections with my friends through Facebook. Facebook and maybe meeting up together one day because you know, these friends are just friends to be forgotten.